Oh, how sweet it is. Can you taste it? The brainwashed masses, the ones who have fallen victim to the MK Ultra hypnosis, the repetition. Bitcoin's going to a million. Bitcoin's going to 100,000. They just kept drilling it into their minds. They put it all over TV. And then everybody who made a video promoting Bitcoin's bullish, you know. You know that they promoted those videos more than any bearish videos. So everybody's on there, click, 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 click. Oh yeah, this is it, this is good. But it's not. They're feeding misdirection because the whole market is about to get a reality check. This entire channel is just a warning for the May 11th crash. And we are rolling right up on this date. Welcome back. My name's Jesse, professional poker player and mathematician. What we're talking about for those of you who just joined the conversation, on May 11th, the United States government is planning to cut the COVID emergency relief funding. This is like a huge insurance just chunk along with some other financial benefits too. Insurance directly connects to the banks. So this is like a free money pipeline that's just getting absolutely shut off. And if you live in a dimension where you think that that won't negatively affect the markets, congratulations to you because you're completely insane. The S&P 500 more than likely will be the keystone that just drives everything crashing down. But you can see it in the altcoins. When you want to know when Bitcoin's the weakest, look at all the altcoins. We just lost the major support of 1850 on Ethereum. Take a look at the quant. You can see the first spinning bear doji, spinning bear top doji, just formed on the one day. AVAX looking trashed. Everything is preparing for a major come down. Now this is the other key clue to this whole thing. Look at the volatility. Even for crypto, it's just going boing, 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 way out of whack. What's up with that? They're saying, oh yeah, this one bank went down and so all the crypto started bouncing around. No, 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 no. They're shaking leverage positions out of the market, making leverage positions afraid to enter because a big move is about to happen. And it's a big move down. This entire channel was made just as a warning about this May 11th market crash. It's not just based on the news. AI has been plotting this for like 90 days and we know already that the government is using AI. JP Morgan and these guys are using AI. They're trying to turn the retail public a blind eye to this. It's gonna be a massacre. And we can already taste the blood of the bulls. If you guys are getting ready to do some shorting, let me give you some tips that you'll only get at this channel. Get your money ready now because Coinbase, Binance US, they're gonna put a seven day hold on all your cash. You're not gonna be able to bounce it out if you're lucky enough to trade overseas or whatever. You've got to get your money ready now if you see a trade coming up in the future. And believe me, Coinbase will put a hold on your cash. They're going to want you to take five photographs of yourself and your firstborn before they even let you send it anywhere. Today we're specifically here to break down CASPA. CASPA has been definitely forming a pendant. We weren't sure there wasn't enough contact points in the last video we said this is either a flag or a pendant. Now in our this could be a pendant scenario, we hit every single touch point. So we're going to jump over, take a look at the pendant stats because when pendants break upwards, which we think that Casper could break up even when the market crashes because it has been moving upwards even when Bitcoin and the rest of the market has been moving down. Caspa could be the one black sheep that just rockets upwards still. If we do break south, what kind of retracement will we be looking at for Caspa? Let's jump over to the charts. Make sure you stay tuned till the end. We're going to see what the AI's up to date outlook is. It looks like the angled fib channel has helped us predict the price movement to precision here. 
For those of you just jumping in, we had this angled fib channel set up in our previous CASPA video, and we said, in fact, if this isn't a bull flag, if this is a bullish pendant, we will get it to bounce right off the bottom of this golden pocket, and that's actually what has happened. Clearly defining that this is a pendant, now we're really starting to get an understanding for what kind of pattern CASPA is making, and with that, we'll be able to bring up these stats I'm about to share and we'll get a clear understanding of where the price will move on average. In these pennant scenarios, when the price does break from this pennant upwards in a bullish movement, and it's up for every individual to decide when that's gonna be. Based on this study of 350 altcoins that have created a pennant, when it breaks upward, the price will move 104% on average to the upside. Now, in the scenario that this pendant is going to break down, on average, this pattern will retrace 41% in price when it breaks down. Some figures to keep in mind right there. Using angled fib channels is a lot more beneficial than using just flat ones. If you're using a really brief time window, like a one minute chart, yeah, go ahead and use it flat. Otherwise, you really want to find a trend line to set the Fibonacci channel in. You're going to find a lot more accurate touch points like we did here. Jumping over to the AI, it looks like it sees CASPA staying within the boundaries of those pennant support and resistant lines until the 11th, 12th of May. Then it sees it absolutely jumping out, regaining support around six cents and then climbing even higher up to nine cents by the end of may in june it shows the price retracing back to around six cents until july when it sees caspa absolutely exploding up to 14 cents and then it even says 75 cents i don't see how that could possibly happen but just in case it does i'll be waiting to sell my bags of caspa that i'm currently mining during late July if we get a super rocket up because the AI is showing that the price is going to retrace down to this normal single digit stuff for the rest of the year after this huge explosion in July. Very interesting read. Bouncing back, it was good to see that our angled Fibonacci chart was able to correctly predict the turnaround in the price here. Hopefully we will get a bullish explosion and this pennant will hold until the 13th, 14th and then shoot right to the upside.